Hi, this is Jeff Garland. Uh, my movie, uh, Dealing with Idiots, is opening in Chicago before New York and L.A. Uh, and, on July 12th. It's also available on iTunes and on, on demand. And stay tuned for a very strange interview. I was talking to a friend of, about uh, this interview coming up today, and he wanted to know why, you know, you're such a big Chicago sports fan. Yeah. Why is, why is Jim Belushi, like, the guy for Chicago, celebrity Chicago sports fans when I think a lot of people would rather see you out there as the... Well, I'm not... I got to be honest with you. I'm at this point avoiding any sport. I, you'd see more of me, but I don't want to be the guy in every sports documentary. I don't want to be. I actually sometimes go to sporting events and don't let the Bears or people or the Cubs know that I'm even there. Why? I don't want a shot of me watching the game. What's wrong with that? I don't want to bother people. I think I'm a. I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be that. You know. I just don't. Jim Belushi's doing a fine job. Let him do it. Or other people who they show. You know. Why do you see that as bothering people? Because I think it can be annoying. I don't want to. Like you see me in like a. I did this great Cubs documentary that was on HBO, and uh, so proud. I, I just. I was, I was happy they included me in all of this. But then I did another documentary, and then I got asked for another doc. And then like at a certain point, I don't want to be the talking head. Like, what the fuck does he know? You know? I think we Who need more I? Chicago celebrities is what it is, because then they won't keep going back to the same Oh, there's tons people. of Chicago celebrities. It just is that Jim Belushi happens to go to all the games, and they know he's the... I, I don't know what Jim Belushi's story is. <laughs> The only thing I know is that his TV show had the worst name of any TV show in the history of mankind. You think so? According to Jim. Do you know many times at Curb Your Enthusiasm we discuss a scene and then I would just go, well, you know, according to Jim. <laughs> or we'd say, tomorrow's Mike and Molly day, dressed like your favorite Mike and Molly character. Just having fun. But according to Jim is a terrible title. I feel Never like watched the show, but a terrible Terrible title. That's been adopted so much recently, like Heart of Dixie, or there was that Will Arnett, Carrie Russell show that the uh, name escapes me now, but it's like, let's think of the character name and then just have a... I don't like puns. Me like neither. My, like my new show on, on ABC is called The Goldbergs. Right. Right. That's not a plan love it. anything. Love it. And I love that, 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 you know, you might as well call the show Jew, which <laughs> I'm, I'm very pleased with. You know, we, we shouldn't be afraid anymore of being... And the show is not necessarily, not at any level like about the Jewish experience, it's just a Jewish family, or, or I think all, all different types of people will be able to associate with it. But I love that it's called the Goldbergs. Well, I, I'm Jewish myself as well. How, how difficult do you think it is to avoid? I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there that winds up succumbing to stereotypes at one point or another. Well, if you're intelligent, you're not gonna succumb to stereotypes. I mean, Curb Your Enthusiasm is a Jewish show. There's no stereotypes. Sure. Uh, well, dealing with idiots, you mentioned um, annoyances earlier. That's this is certainly a movie that seems to come from annoyances that you have. Um, how much is this based on people you know, people you've interacted with? Why? Why did you want to do a project? I like came this? up with the idea while watching my son play baseball uh, in an organized league, and uh, watched the behavior of the parents and. It was astonishing to me that these people, I actually thought to myself, and I do say it in the movie, what are their private lives like that would make them behave this way? Why do you think that setting brings that out of people? I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Here I made this movie, I thought about it, and I have no idea why, as parents, uh, we're so involved now. When I was a kid, my parents came I don't remember my mom even ever coming to a game. Maybe she came to one game. Well, I never thought she doesn't love me. My dad came to two or three games. He was busy working, yeah. you know? And that just, parents just didn't come. Sometimes they did, but no, now, who, they all go to every game. It's crazy. Just, what will you say to someone um, who this, this, who was like an inspiration for this movie, if they see the film and then say, hey, Jeff, uh, I feel like you were kind of depicting me in this movie. No one will say that. Why not? Because they won't recognize themselves. And also, no one's going to ever say, even if it was right on the money, that's me. Trust me. They wouldn't know. 
you think there are any idiots who know that they're idiots? No, there's not an idiot. That's part of what makes an idiot an idiot. They, <laughs> they don't think they're an idiot. Uh, what percentage of the world do you think is stupid? What percentage is stupid? Um, I have no, I really don't know. I've never sat and, and wondered about that. I think there's a, you know, there's so many people, so it seems like there's a lot of stupid people out there, but I don't know. Smart people can outnumber them, for all I know, by a great deal. Why does it seem like there's so many stupid ones out there? Maybe the stupid ones are the ones that go out and the smart ones stay in. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I certainly run into my share of stupid people. Well, what, you know, you got this idea from observing people's foolishness. Well, you know, the thing is, by the way, if you want to see the stupidity of America become a comedian. Hey, why, why do you say that? Because... You perform in comedy clubs. The majority of people that go to comedy clubs, not that smart. Like, they're heckling you, or what makes you say that? You engage them with what you're talking about, and it's not that... You're just getting ready for the photos. Want to make it look good? Okay. We don't want to bother you. No, I'm fine. I just was wondering, how are you? Um, I, I'm just curious why you think people at comedy clubs, like, that, those are your people, that's your audience. Why? No, it's not. Everyone's my audience. It's not one thing in particular. Have you spent much time in comedy clubs? Not as much as you, but, no, no, I've, no, been but an have you, I've been an audience. I, okay. Have you ever witnessed a terrible comedian who is homophobic, misogynistic, arrogant, and the audience is laughing? Uh, I fortunately have not been in like in the club for that, but I've seen that, that happens I've all seen the time, things, of course. I've seen people laugh at things worse than Michael Richards says. So, sure. um, generally when I perform at a place that's sort of alternative and off the beaten path, the audiences are a lot more intelligent. Or you play a theater where there's no alcohol served. Alcohol is the one common denominator of stupidity. Because it brings everyone to that level of laughing at it. Eventually, well, no, it just brings everyone to a level below themselves. And I'm not talking about necessarily having one beer or a glass of wine, but drunks. When, when being inspired to do a movie like this, why, why approach it this way? Like, I, I thought it was interesting that for a lot of the movie, you are observing the stupidity and, and almost treating it like a comedy routine, right. riffing on these people. Like, right. do you think some people will see this movie and find it that you're just kind of this? To me, it was like a one man, like judgmental Greek chorus. Right. Like, what, why, chorus. Why, why make a movie like that of kind of complaining? All right. So you can't use this part, right? You're going to be able to cut this. Uh, why? Why would we do that? Because I'm going to talk about the ending of the movie. Okay. We don't want to ruin the ending. Exactly. Well, the ending, who becomes the biggest idiot? Me. By far. I lose my so? shit. You do. Well, that but... was my intent. So whether you interpret it that way, my intent was the guy who's the Greek chorus, the guy who's judging everyone becomes the biggest idiot of them all. That's what I thought. So what do you think is a better way to deal with, um, obviously then, then the movie is meant to show like getting upset and going on a rant is not the solution to the idiots in the world. What is no. a better way to deal with that, this behavior? Well, I don't know. That's not my purpose as a filmmaker. <laughs> well, how about just your feelings as a person? My feelings as a person is, you know, don't go to the games, let your kid just play. That's my uh, opinion. I shouldn't even be there. What if your kid really wants you there? Then I go. But, you know, my kids don't give a shit. <laughs> you know? I think most kids don't give a shit. If a kid needs you to be there based on feeling whether you love them or not, you're not doing a good job as a parent. Sure. Yeah. But I mean, like... But I care. I would go to an occasional game. I mean, I went to a lot of my kids' games. And I still, my son plays soccer for his school. I go to most of the games when I can. But I don't let myself be known. I don't yell to him on the field. 
Let's stay in the background. I think all parents should stay in the background. Right. But it's not about say, you. But let's say you're in that setting observing all these people who are bothering you. Right. What do you, I think, because a lot of people in the world I would deal with this with frustration my, all the time. Yeah, but I would sit with my friend or my wife and talk about it. Did you, just like you're doing the movie. Did you see what he just did? Yeah, I do the same thing. One of my favorite um, rap lyrics of all time is when Jay-Z says, uh, a wise man told me don't argue with fools because people from a distance can't tell who is who. Right. And I think that's really profound. That's very profound. And that's true. From a distance, you see two people yelling, you don't know who the fool is. And by the way, if two people are yelling, odds are they're both fools. <laughs> I want to ask you, to your point about the way that the film ends, do you think, I feel like it's always kind of a delicate balance with films that laugh at behavior that they wind up condemning in the end. Like, did you see I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry? That mm -hmm. film? The Adam Sandler movie? Uh, no. That that movie is mostly, like, poking fun, making making homophobic gay jokes, you know, th things that they want the audience to laugh at, and then ultimately at the end it's like, well, you should have known better. Right. But obviously the movie doesn't work if you're not laughing at it in the first place. So, right. is there... I guess that I'm I'm not comparing the two movies, but I'm saying I, you actually just caught yourself well, like a, using Chuck and Larry as a reference to me. Well, you're 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 generating laughs out of um, not ignorance, not ignorance. I'm just showing but, behavior, but, but judgment certainly. No, I'm showing behavior. You judge. I mean, my character judge, but my character could be wrong. So, do, do you expect people to? relate to anyone but you in the, in the movie, though? I don't expect them to do anything. I, I think the movie could be a complete failure. <laughs> I'm being serious. I have no idea how they're gonna, who they're going to re relate to, how they're going to react. I don't have a clue, man. I didn't, I've, I've done one screening of the movie. One. At Pixar, of all places. Really? How yeah. did that go? It went great, which shocked me because they're so story-driven there. And the idea that all the people that work there like the movie, and there's not much of a story in my movie, I think. I went for a feeling in my movie, you know? And, uh, but I have no idea how an audience is going to associate or react. Um, do you, obviously, you know, this movie is not, you are not playing yourself in this movie, but right. it comes from your feelings and your observations. Yeah, right. Is there any sense of you wondering if people will see this and wonder if you are an angry person? <laughs> no. I don't wonder what anyone thinks, man. I just do my best day in and day out to get through the day and be kind to people and be thoughtful. And hopefully I'm contributing. But I don't, I can't sit back and wonder that. that that's like the last thing on my mind. I just hope people see the movie and dig it. That's what I hope for. Sure. But um, if someone watches this movie and thinks I'm an angry person, I think that would be crazy. Just my take. You obviously think it, or you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have asked it, because it's too much of a non sequitur. Otherwise, I'm not saying you are an angry person. No, no, I'm but, wondering. no but, but but you must have watched it and thought, I wonder if Jeff Garland's an angry guy, because otherwise that's a giant non sequitur, and I feel a huge jump. That's an interesting point. I don't think I was saying I wonder if he is. I think when I watch movies, I think about what audiences may take away from the film, and I think that is a something they may So if you watch about. a James Bond movie, you're wondering... Well, that's a completely different thing. Or you're watching a, 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 um, a Fellini movie, you're watching any movie, you're, you're actually wondering what an audience is going to take away from it? If someone... Don't you, aren't you only concerned with what you take away from it? If someone writes a movie, directs it, stars in it... Yeah. So when you watch Manhattan... Own... When you watch Manhattan... You've seen Manhattan? Yeah, I mean, Woody Allen is... Of, I think you don't think people watch Woody Allen movies and wonder how much of that is his own personal behavior. I think I think people absolutely do. No, I I, I think that I've come away with watching a Woody Allen movie and just think whether or not I, I dig it or not. I'm not thinking about what other people are thinking or wondering. So, but you don't think people see Woody Allen movies and think this is probably what he is really. But like. I don't. But I don't think of what people are thinking. Do you know what I mean? I, I, right. I don't watch a movie that's not in my thought process. Right, I'm asking you if that has never occurred to you that a film, like, if films are written, directed, and starring by someone, they They're come fiction. From... If it's a documentary, I'm sure, sure that the story that he's writing comes from somewhere, and there may be truth somewhere.
but it's fiction. So I'm not wondering, is Woody, I, look, working with Larry David, people always ask me, is Larry David really like that? No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. It's, it's not like him at all, you know? And so I don't wonder that. I, I, your questions are very intriguing, my friend. Is that a good thing? No, but it's not a bad thing. It is what it is. You're, you like being, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you know, causing a thing, like a thing. You're putting a spin on a thing. And I think you should just ask what you're genuinely curious about. Okay, well then I'll come out and say, like, I don't want to pry, but when someone has a personal incident that deals with something... Oh, you're trying to get away from, with, with, with me being arrested? I'm saying if something happens involving anger in real life... But you, how do you know that it involved anger? You only I read that TMZ. You, all you can, you know go, that, you're all right. you can go from is, is what you TMZ. I, I so, don't read TMZ. So, by the way, well, where do you think everyone got the story from? TMZ. Reported by TMZ. Okay. So, um... But, but... Right. I appreciate that, yeah. but all I was if asking was you about your... is what people may think, and that is information that people have perceived, true or not, it's uh -huh. what they've heard. But you, you went around it, so that's where it came from, the per people perceive me as an angry person. It's based on me having been uh, arrested, which is crazy because if you were there, you would go, that's all that happened? That's all, and there's no all charges are dropped. Of course, and no, I, I'm not an angry person. I'm an extraordinarily peaceful person. I do transcendental meditation. I'm very um, uh, content and happy, and certain things will frustrate me or whatever. But in general, I, I'm not remotely angry. Uh, but I do at all times as an actor, as comedian, I'm in the moment. So when you ask me the questions you ask me, I will react in the moment and accordingly. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. I appreciate that. And I, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know about you. I would much rather talk about things that are interesting to talk about when it comes right. to an interview like this. I'm not looking to offend you. I, it seemed worth you, bringing I, up. By the way, you didn't remotely offend okay, me at any good. point. But you could see how, I, how it would be something that the public may be wondering because of information, misinformation, whatever it may Okay, be. but you weren't clear on that. You were saying that in abstract form, if people will watch the movie and think I may have an anger problem. Well, I was leading into that. It's usually not good to lead off with questions like that. I've no, found. no, I, I, I well, then, you, I, I, then you're talking to angry people. Because I think it is good to, to get to the point. What is it you want? Boom. To ask the, like, hardest ball question. Well, whenever first. you ask them, ask them. As opposed to making it strange, the journey together. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we got there together, Jeff. Yeah, it's all good. good. Yeah, there you are, my friend. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jeff. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your good looks, my friend. <laughs> and yeah. why, is, why is Jim Belushi like the guy for Chicago, celebrity Chicago sports fans when I think a lot of people would rather see you out there as the representative? Well, I'm not, I got to be honest with you. I'm at this point avoiding any sport. I, you'd see more of me. But I don't want to be the guy in every sports documentary. I don't want to be. I actually sometimes go to sporting events and don't let the Bears or people or the Cubs know that I'm even there. Why? I don't want a shot of me watching the game. What's up? Jim, do you know many times at Curb Your Enthusiasm we discuss a scene and then I would just go, well, you know, according to Jim. <laughs> or we'd say tomorrow's Mike and Molly Day, dressed like your favorite Mike and Molly character. Just having fun. But according to Jim, is a terrible title. I feel Never like watched the show, but a terrible, <laughs> terrible title. It's been adapted so much recently, like Heart of Dixie, or there was that Will Arnett, Carrie Russell show that the uh -huh. name escapes me now. But it's like, let's think of the character name and then just have a. I don't like puns. Me like neither. My, like my new show on, on ABC is called The Goldbergs. How about that? I don't want to bother people. I think I'm a. I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be that. You know, I just don't. Jim Belushi is doing a fine job. Let him do it, or other people. <laughs> Who they show, you know. Why do you say that is bothering people? Because I think it can be annoying. I don't want to. Uh, like you see me in like a. I did this great Cubs documentary that was on HBO, and uh, so proud. I, I just. I was. I was happy they included me in all of this, but then I did another.
Hi, this is Jeff Garland. Uh, my movie, uh, Dealing with Idiots, is opening in Chicago before New York and L.A. Uh, and on July 12th. It's also available on iTunes and on, on demand. And stay tuned for a very strange interview. I was talking to a friend about uh, this interview coming up today, and he wanted to know why, you know, you're such a big Chicago sports fan. Documentary, and then I got asked for another doc. And then, like, at a certain point, I don't want to be the talking head. Like, what the fuck does he know? You know? I think we need more Chicago celebrities is what it is, because then they won't keep going back to the same Oh, there's tons of Chicago celebrities. It just is that Jim Belushi happens to go to all the games and... They know he's... The, I, I don't know what Jim Belushi's story is. <laughs> the only thing I know is that his TV show had the worst name of any TV show in the history of mankind. You think so? According to 